Hi guys, a few things to run through with you today. First things first is the Samsung Galaxy S2. That is due to arrive into stock on the 1st of May. That's the official UK launch date. Very few countries will be ahead of that and the majority will be behind that launch date. Because the first is a Sunday and the second is a bank holiday in the UK, the first units will dispatch out on the 3rd of May. So if you've got an order placed, that will be shipped on that day. If you haven't, hurry up because uh, stock is running out quite quickly, even though it isn't physically in stock at the moment, it's proving very popular. Next thing, we've got the Dell Venue Pro in stock now. It's been a long time coming, but it is now here. It's a 4.3 inch AMOLED touchscreen device with Windows Phone 7, five megapixel camera on board, Wi-Fi, GPS, all the uh, standard features you come to expect of a phone. That's here, it's a big chunky device. It's got a slide out uh, QWERTY keyboard, but oddly enough, the actual overall size makes it feel better in a weird way. Because it's so big, it feels really robust, really solid, and general feedback so far on this device has been very positive. It works better than a lot of other Windows phone devices with keyboards because it's in portrait and not landscape mode and Windows Phone 7 lacks optimization for uh, landscape mode devices at the moment. Okay, so for the last couple of weeks I've uh, exchanged my HTC Desire for a Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc and I thought I'd just give you a rundown of some of my thoughts on the device itself. First things first, I really like this. It's got a lanyard attachment. Very few smartphones do. Now, I'm not saying this is something you'd use every day, but if you're uh, a bit of an outdoors person using your device for walking, GPS maps, etc., it's a really handy feature so that you can have the device with you, uh, easily accessible, and know it's secure. I've never been a big fan of devices over 3.7 inches. I've always thought they're a little bit bulky. Um, but this one, although it's got a 4.2 inch screen, really feels good in the hand. And I've been surprised at how easily I've um, sort of got to grips with using a larger device. Um, it's quite rectangular, so it extends over the palm of your hand. The art design is incredibly nice. Um, it's so thin, and I don't think you can really pick this up on camera, um, but it, it's, it's just lovely. The thickest points are at the, the top and the bottom where you've got the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. It is a little bit plasticky, I do admit this. It picks up fingerprints as well, as you'd imagine. Um, but those things aside, the device works really well. Timescape on it, the software that Sony Ericsson put on, is a little bit slow, and I personally prefer a more plain Android look, so I've um, sort of moved away from using uh, the timescape and then customized my home screen and what have you in the way that, that I like, and um, general performance is uh, really quite good um, on here haven't noticed any lag, really. The biggest lag, though, does seem to be with the camera, which is one of the standout features of this device. It takes a great quality photo. It's uh, an eight megapixel camera with LED flash on the back here. But it just seems to take a couple of seconds to launch into the software. So if I was to click on the camera, we've got one, two, takes about two seconds to actually open up the camera software and that's the same if you press the physical camera button here which is a little bit frustrating if you're trying to take a very quick shot of something that is of interest to you um, but having said that like I said the camera is sensational there's not too much you can do in terms of customization of the photo settings it's quite plain um, but in a way that works well, because if you're looking to take, um, you know, a specially optimized photo, then your smartphone might not be, you know, the right type of device to use. But this is good for, for capturing some photos of people and landscapes when you're out and about. But um, just that software is a bit um, buggy. Um, another potentially annoying feature, and it is for me, I use my smartphone as sort of 
my alarm clock as well and sometimes in the night if I uh, get email notifications you've got an LED flashing light on the side which can get a little bit annoying if you um, stir. Now I see the importance of LED notification lights but it's quite bright and it can be a little bit frustrating. And the other thing is um, on the buttons on the front of the device rather than being backlit there are two LEDs one either side of the central button and it's really difficult to actually show you on camera but it kind of looks like two eyes looking at you and it doesn't illuminate the buttons they're just two piercing white LED lights um, and in a dark environment it just seems a bit sharp and a bit I don't know a bit garish I just I'm not a big fan of it it's not something to put me off the device entirely but um, uh, I'm not really you know, convinced by it, but I welcome your opinions if you're using one or have read other reviews. In terms of battery life, um, some reviews seem to suggest that it's better than other smartphones out there. I've yet to really see any significant difference, maybe fractionally, um, but I couldn't really say that I'm getting much more battery life out of this than I would uh, my HTC Desire, but considering um, it has got a larger screen uh, than the HTC Desire. That could be fair to say there's a little bit more juice that you're getting from it um, th throughout the day. Um, you know, the, the onboard software it is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty functional. Um, they can install things such as WhatsApp on it. Hasn't got a lot of onboard memory, which is a bit of a downside, but you can uh, ex extend that. I mean, it comes with a memory card in the box, or you of course swap that out for um, one of your own. Um, I haven't run into a low memory warning yet, but um, all in all, the the Arc's quite a nice device. Um, it's just a little bit plasticky um, in places. Cool quality is good, and what have you. So, um, yeah, that's the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc.